I've been working here at the zoo for two years, so I've been getting to know the animals. Well, I've been getting to know the people that I work with and all of the animals that I work with as well. The animals, every single animal has a different personality. Uh, so it's getting to know not only the gorillas, but the different gorillas, Mandara and Baraka and all of the different gorillas here. I'm always fascinated to watch them. We're very lucky that we have a fully functioning social group. So watching the gorillas be gorillas and act like gorillas and when Baraka goes running past beating his chest and creating a stir, uh, it's always a great thing to watch. We have some animals that were raised as gorillas, raised by their parents, and we have other animals that were uh, raised by humans. So it's interesting to look at the differences in their personality depending upon how they were raised. The gorillas aren't aggressive animals. They're not aggressive toward people. Um, a lot of times they might see people as being aggressive toward them. One of the things in gorilla society, direct eye contact is seen as being an aggressive action. So a lot of times we'll tell people to not look directly at the gorillas and maybe approach from the side when they go up to the exhibit and that might uh, encourage the gorillas to go over and visit them. Uh, but then we do have some of our animals. Mandara, uh, the, she has a baby and Mandara was raised by people she was hand raised when she was young. And so that definitely comes out with Mandara. You can see sometimes she'll come over, um, she'll solicit attention from people, she'll show her baby off to the crowd because she's, she was raised to interact with humans. I think one of the biggest misconceptions that people have about gorillas is that they're dangerous or threatening to us as humans, when the reality is that we're the ones who are threatening to them, um, especially in the wild, where we're the ones who are decimating gorilla populations. And I think that if we could, if people could come to the zoo and could see them and could understand their behavior and how amazing they are, then maybe that could translate into saving gorillas in the wild.